Hey bassists, today I want to continue to help you to produce a clean and clear sound from the bass all of the time. Raise your hand if you've ever made this sound without meaning to. I'm going to raise both of my hands because this happens to me and still happens to me if I'm not focused. So why are we getting that buzzing sound? It's plain and simple, but it bears repeating. We're not fully engaging our left hand into the strings. What does that mean? Well, if I'm not digging into the strings firmly with all of my fingers, you're left with a tiny space between the string and the fingerboard, and that's what causes the buzzing sound. And for me, my left hand is 50% responsible for the sound production. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to demonstrate the stages of pressing firmly into the string with my left hand from very lightly to really firmly, and I won't change the way that I'm going to pluck the string with my right hand. And of course, for your left hand, when one finger is down, all the fingers behind it are pressed down and supporting each other. Here's just my pinky on, with my left hand. So I got some buzz. Here's all my fingers pressed down lightly. Buzz. Here's a little bit more firm, kind of getting rid of it, a little subtle. Now I'm really digging in. I haven't changed my right hand and my fingers are fully engaged. Can you hear the difference? Not only did we get rid of the buzz, but the more firmly you press or dig into the string, the more clarity of tone you're going to get. I should say, I don't mean to press so firm that it hurts or that you feel your bone. You will definitely feel what's right for you. To start bringing this technique into your own playing, start with my favorite thing, scales. Try it without a metronome and just focus on digging into the string until it's comfortable. And then try it with your normal scale routine. And I can't wait to hear your buzz-free tone. 